Hi, today I want to demonstrate a NeoVim buffer manager plugin that I made. Um, you could find it on my GitHub. It's called stacker.nvim. And I'll just go right into the demo. Um, so this is just a terminal right now. I can enter NeoVim into a folder. And here you'll see the normal stuff in NeoVim, except that now there's this tab line here at the top that says unnamed one. So this means this is the first unnamed buffer in my set of open buffers right now. So I can go type something in like test, and then I can maybe open a new buffer. I have two buffers now. Um, but the magic of this is that I can see which buffer I'm in, and then I can jump to the previous buffer really easily. Here I can see it has that number one next to it. So I can just press leader one to go back to that buffer and the same logic will extend to if i save them as files so let's call this file one dot txt and if i go back to this unnamed one we could say test two and write to file two dot txt now the names automatically update um, i could look at the files here i could switch files and it'll automatically update the tab bar as well um, but the magic is, if you have many, many tabs open, so let's open a few, like a test three, test four, um, now we could easily see the number next to any of the tabs and just press leader one, leader two, leader three to jump to the most previous um, buffer or the one from two edits ago or the, the third most recent buffer. Um, so I could press leader three to go back here and you'll notice that that one goes back to the top and all of the other buffers shift back down. Um, so the most recent one is now in the first position um, instead of being active. So it's similar to on Windows. If you press Alt-Tab, you'll go to your most recent um, window. But if you press Alt-Tab, tab, if you press hold Alt and then press Tab twice, you'll go back to the one before that. This is very similar, except that you could automatically see where you need to go and press the right number um, to, to just do it in a few presses instead of having to spam tab when you're holding down alt. So here I could go back three really easily in two clicks. And I know exactly where I am I'm back in file one. And that's, a, that's one of the main features. But I could also um, write this to file four.txt and write this one. Oh, let's, Enter this right to file three dot txt, and if I close this, it should re reload in the exact same order. So here it's file three, file four, file one, and file two. Um, let's um, quit. Go back into NeoVim. It's in that exact same order, so it remembers where I am. So this is three, four, one, two is the order of the files, and that's basically it. Um, I can close files as normal with like BD. Um, I can, you know, make a new file. Um, it's enew. Just like any, anything works normally, except that now you can just access all the buffers very easily. Um, if you want to find it, it's on my GitHub, um, triplions slash stacker dot nvim. And it's inspired by the Primagen's Harpoon system for NeoVim. Um, the main change from Harpoon is that in Stacker, it'll automatically sort by the most recent, and Har Harpoon, you have to manually reorder them. So I kind of prefer this, um, this most recent approach because um, I don't want to have to manually like, reorder the files if I start doing something different in my code base. So I hope this is useful for people out there and they could integrate it into their NeoVim configs. Um, it's been very helpful for me. I even made a, a VS Code extension called Pin Active. That's very, um, it's a very, um, I also made this very similar VS Code extension called Pin Active. And this one automatically sorts your tabs in a similar fashion. Um, there isn't a good way to, number them in VS Code, but um, if you want something similar, this is the closest thing there is right now. Okay, I hope you enjoy this demonstration, and um, if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments, 
and I'll see you in another video.